Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and another vloggy vlog vlog. Today I am doing the long awaited trailer tour. We're actually out here cleaning it at the moment. I say we, that's the royal we. That means so hubby does it whilst I film. Oh yeah, I've been instructed. I need to shut the windows so that the... <laughs> ah, so that the water doesn't get inside. <laughs> Whilst I'm out here, oh, can I reach? I would do. I can't reach that one. Oh, I have to put my hands down. The much asked for. Robbie, I can't reach this one. Trailer tour. Because I'm actually currently woo, getting it ready for our first ever stay away. I was going to say show then. It's not a show. It's just our first have a stay away in it. Darling, I need your help, please. Let's do swapsies. Robbo? Yeah. I need you. I need you, I need you in here, please. So, for those of you that have followed for a while, you will know that this is an Equitrek night tracker. I've had it about six weeks now. Um, and it's an upgrade from my previous Equitrek I had that was a show tracker. Can I borrow you, please? Stop! I can't reach that one to shut it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to get it washed and then I will give you a full tour. I mean, it's massive. It's going to take ages to do this tour. Inside, in the living, and just tell you a bit more about it now that I have been using it for six weeks. But first things first, let's get it nice and shiny and clean. It's currently covered in like squashed flies and things so let's get it looking brand new again and then we will show you round properly thank you darling i don't know why i just can't quite reach over that sure nice big tack locker right let's get it clean and then we will show you more in depth Robbie got an extendable brush. <laughs> don't look, don't look grumpy, Robbie. You get told off. You're not allowed to look grumpy. That's his happy face, believe it or not, isn't it, my darling? That's his happy face, the grumpy one. And then that gives a smile. That, that's his sad face. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Making sure there's no grit on the. Reggie's being adventurous! Ah! What are you doing, Reg? What have you found? You've got a stick to play. Oh, careful! You might hurt yourself. Be careful, little man. So, yes, this is the Equitrek Night Trekker. I previously had the Show Trekker. Um, and as you can see, it's in snazzy colours. I will check the uh, key terminology of what those colours are called. Grey and blue. Grey and blue, I'd say, but you know, it might be like Ford Focuses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they have set actual colour codes. <laughs> Wash and wax. Oh, no, you're going to get me. Oh. Making sure it's sub a dub dubs and rub a dub dubs no, and soaks much, up. Too much is worse than not enough. <laughs> oh, less is more are the words you were looking for, Robbo. I thought that was close. You could do it with his. Uh, less is more. Yeah, you're going to be boiling doing it in that cake. Do you want me to do some? Well, I mean, it would probably look good for the vlog if I did do a bit. <laughs> oh, Mum's going to film. Woo! Right, do you want to do the tour, Mum? Oh, well, that's all off. Let's not put that there. Make sure that's shut uh, properly. I've shut all the windows the so off. that the water doesn't get inside! Turn the hose off! <laughs> Bloody rubbish. Rob, you all get told you keep like Is that your happy face or your sad no, face? No, it's just not, it's leaking. Boy, it leaks. Careful. See <laughs> yeah, that's leaking here. Yeah, it is. Oh, just pull it all the way down so it's not telescopic. So it's not long. Yeah, so you don't do it. No. Oh, that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, but you're still getting wet. <laughs> it's coming out there. No, it's not. That's right. 
Scrub a dub dub in the tub a tub tub. That's not really a good song, Gina. Oh yeah, clean Banksy's window so that he can see out of it on his road trip on Monday. Not gonna lie, it's very hard not telling you guys what we've got in the pipeline. Um, and I don't actually even know when I'm allowed to say. However, I think where we are going, we're going to be doing some lives for, from on Instagram. So I assume I don't have to hold out until the vlog goes live. I think you'll be able to find out and we'll be able to share with you prior. I'm just not 100% sure. Um, I need that. I was looking for that earlier. I was like, where's my GoPro? Yeah, used it the day before yesterday, didn't I? Or was it yesterday? No, day before yesterday. Right, let's do my bit. Behind you. Woo, sorry. I actually didn't mean to do that. I forgot that it had water spray up. Yeah. Right, I'm keeping it still. I want my bedroom window to be clean too. I have more than one assistant here today. My darling mummy is here too, aren't you, mum? I am. Being the muckarouter. Muckarouter. All done. Watcher. Looking at nice and clean. Still yet to pressure wash the stable, but I do need to. It's almost ready to be, actually. If I had enough hours in the day, I would be doing that tonight, but I don't think I do. He's got a baby bed. He's got a baby bed. That's good. At least it's all nice and clean. And, yeah. There's not actually that much you can do showing a trailer being washed. So we will fast forward now to I'm getting the soap. Um ah, showing you in it, you got me wet. Uh-oh. Okay, so the Night Trekker comes as a classic, an XL or an Elite. The classic is the plain white all over. The XL is white with black graphics on the side. And the Elite, which this one is, is the coloured option with the coloured horse logo on the side too. The thing about the Night Trekker that sets it apart from many other trailers is the fact that it has the living, which has bunk beds, hob, sink etc so i thought would be best to show you guys in there first i will start though if you could zoom in please robbie by saying anybody that's got the show tracker or a previous older model equitrek this is what i like <laughs> is one of the good modifications look 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 look, look. Oh, it's magnetic whereas before you used to have to press a bit in to keep the door back it automatically just stays there by itself and you haven't got to worry about it flapping in the wind you don't have to think about hooking it back it does it automatically an open and closing window on the door to the bedroom and kitchen and yeah in we go i mean it is cozy but very practical and functional here we have it i've just now put my dirty feet on the clean floor that i've just cleaned so for day living you have it as a bench seat. You've got your hob and sink built into one now. It used to be two individual, but now you have the sink there with a pumpy water plug. And then there on the side is the hob, which is fantastic. It just means that it's all in one place. And as you can tell, I haven't actually even used it yet because I haven't taken that off which actually I could do with doing um, but that is because I haven't had a stay away yet but 
in a couple of days that will be changing and I'm super excited. Okay. Can you be my bin man as well as cameraman please? So yes, that's the hob and the sink. Nice light and airy in here due to the nice big window. That's a lot larger than the previous model, the show tracker. And then you've got a wardrobe in here. And these are that was open before, but it's all um, enclosed now. And that's where I hang my show jacket. And oh, is the light adjusting? Yes, it is. Spare coats and clothing, etc. Here we have, you can have the camera back, please, darling. The table. So when you've cooked your pasta on the hob, you can sit here and eat it or your fried egg sandwich in the morning for breakfast or you can sit here and do work on your laptop if you've got vlog editing to do fabulous that it folds away neatly and is completely out of the way when you then want to put the beds up when it's time to go sleepies i will show you now how easy it is to put the beds up i haven't practiced so fingers crossed it's the same as the show tracker i'm pretty sure it will be which means you just literally pop that out of the way and then you grab this oh that's good because it's velcroed on the old one wasn't velcroed on was it you did that for me you are allowed to speak my sweetheart yeah, yeah yeah pop that there then you pull this up that's your don't roll out of bed and then you wish you had 10 hands or a helper that's not just videoing. <laughs> Pass you the bar. Nope, see, it does only require two hands. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Oh, that way. Da, 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 da. Voila! So then get the mattress. and then lift that out so that whoever sleeps on the top bunk doesn't roll out nice and easy to get into we'll take my boots off for that i will demonstrate just how easy it is to climb in i will admit actually in my old one i generally did choose to sleep on top i'm not even really sure of the reason why i think possibly because of this because <laughs> yeah i don't know but anyway i generally do sleep in the top bunk maybe it's just because it makes me feel like a big kid but voila in you get oh and if i was parked here i would just definitely put my head up this end because it's um on a tiny bit of a slope i've got a feeling and i'm going to ask them but i've got a feeling this is slightly wider than my old one yeah i think it is i'm pretty sure it was more like that yeah, yeah. definitely feels well i'll tell you once i've had a good night's sleep in it in a couple of nights time Oh, and relax. Very comfy. Good that you've got that bit to climb out of too, which makes it nice and easy peasy lemon squeezy. Obviously, if you are woo, on the lower bunk, you do have to be a little bit careful so as not to wake up in the night and hit your head. However, look, you can still come up like that. Yeah, you're not going to really, unless you go and try and get fully up. And still good, decent amount, depending on whether you line your back, side or front. <sighs> Very comfy. And yeah, just fabulous, really. Whilst lying here, I will just show you the storage underneath. Currently, it's got my body protector and air jacket in there, tucked under. Oh, and my stash of Y food and a first aid kit always important to keep in a trailer um, but often if i go away to stay away shows as i will be packing in there i put things like um chairs and sleeping bags etc don't i yeah table <clears throat> table yeah i got a table for my birthday from mum didn't i i need to put that in there so storage table beds wardrobe more storage under here um, currently got my hats, cross country hat, dressage stroke, show jumping hat, two spare rugs for Banksy, and then in the other cupboard we have the uh, water. So this goes up to the sink. Um, 
yeah, not much else to show in there really, is there? I think we're done. Mm. As you can see, cosy yet very, very practical. Plenty of room once you're in for standing up, loads of head height. Um, nice, um, what would you call that? Roof vent. Nice roof vent for letting air in, stroke out. Oh, you just press that. Voila! Um, but we'll keep it closed in case it rains. And one thing that I did, I did have on my other one that I don't actually have on this one is curtains. And that's probably my fault for not specking it. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many different optional extras you can have. Um, we do have a light in here too, but that won't work unless I am actually plugged into the car. You can get um, onboard electrics and USB. Yeah, another thing that you can spec, but... Uh, yeah. Teeny didn't. So for the hob, obviously you need gas. That is stored in there. However, again, I haven't actually got a bottle of gas yet, have I? I thought I had one from my old one. Mm. Have I? Um, Propane, is it? Propane? Red bottle. Basically, yeah. you just get one of the little red bottles and then you can tether it in to keep it nice and secure and stable whilst in there. And then you've got this. What do you call that? A bit like a stopcock for water. Regulator. Regulator, that's the one. Which is where you turn the supply on and off and plug it in with that. Nice and technological there, aren't I? That's also lockable so you can put anything in there that needs to stay safe and secure. I'll put that bed down shortly. Into the horsey area! Da -da -da -da. Very, very similar aside from these are bendy now, rather than just fixed and straight, which is good. Very easy to open. Very lightweight. The thing about this trailer is it is zero wood. The wood has nothing to rot. Yeah, wood is for weight and aerodynamic is for like no, fuel wood, economy wood, and streamlining. It's, it's not necessarily for weight. It's, it is weight and it won't Safety. rot. Safety, it won't rot. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That is a very, a very... True, Robbie. Well pointed out. Um, as you can see, the inside has well been used. We've had a few outings in it this week, hence it is not immaculate. However, one thing I will say is I do always, always, always take the poo out after every trip. I will admit that is not something that I always did with my old one. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> so with this one I do. The partition is adjustable. You can make um, where the horse stands narrower or wider. And also if you need to, you can take the partition out fully. The horses travel rear facing in this trailer. Um, and it is pretty proven that horses do travel better facing backwards. As you can see, there's lots of ventilation again, open and lockable windows there, there there and on the door here nice and easy to uh, open and close aside from that one because I'm a bit short oh, I can open it but I can't close it my arms aren't quite long enough that's where I need the husband or to be able to jump better <laughs> or they help fence here added airflow into the horse area while you're traveling and then we also have a light because it is a legal requirement when traveling in horses at night that the light must be turned on. Also have my tie points, one each side for actually tying the horses up with, and then a higher one each side for hanging hay nets off of. This here, which you can tell obviously from the inside, is a tack storage locker. And I don't know if you can see, but if you've seen Equitrex previously, this one is a lot bigger than my previous show trekker, which is fantastic because it means my nice wide dressage saddle slides in there easily as I will show you. Remind me what they are again, Robbie, because I'm they're not very like good at explaining them. horse distress pins. Ah, uh, like. yeah, okay. okay. It, it drops the um, so breast bar, doesn't it? if your horse is in, in distress, you unwind it, the position will drop. Yeah, the breast bar, this part. The breast bar. This will drop so that if they are at all stuck or distressed or you do, yeah. God forbid, have an accident, yeah, then that right. will release without you having to be inside with the horses. It's got one both sides so you can do it Whichever side you got the horse from side. this side yeah. or 
also from this side too so if you do have one of these trailers do not tie your horses to that that's not what it's for these are the tie pins for tying the horses to and then quick release breakaway cables there onto the tack locker oh addition to this step at the back that is brilliant in comparison to the older one because it is a lot bigger a lot more stable and you can get two feet on it at once you can also use it as a mountain block if you need to which is very very handy you haven't put that red bolt down the ramp is super lightweight as we said it's not wood so it does make it lightweight and much easier to put up and it has hydraulic assistance doesn't it Big spring. Big spring? Oh, not hydraulic. Yeah. <laughs> what do I know? Always come round and give Banksy a little polo or a treat once he's loaded to say good boy. And then shut that securely. You can lock it and you can also put this across just for double security that it is 100% shut and secure before travelling. Onto the tack locker, as I was saying, and I'm going to grab my saddle to demonstrate it to you, but look. You can see instantly how much wider the access is. I will show you with my dressage saddle though, because that's the one I used to have problems with. Da, 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 da. No effort whatsoever. when the um, trailer is attached to the electrics of the vehicle. I always keep a spare head collar in a trailer just in case you have an accident and always being a leather head collar because they are the ones that are best for traveling in because they will break if the horse ever gets in distress. You've also got like a wash away area there so that you can wash that out if it gets dirty or grubby after putting like old cross country boots and stuff back in there after being used and muddy. Again, lockable because obviously we all want to keep our tack safe and secure. Although that one is coming back out. Not, 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 not staying in there yet. I'm not ready to pack up until tomorrow. When it comes to hitching up, it is super duper easy. 13 pin electric socket voila which goes in so much easier than emily oh other way yeah no no robbie's doing it wrong you do it like this like oh, i can yeah. even do it left-handed it's that easy oh, yeah. one-handed and left-handed that shows how easy that is in comparison to previous electric sockets oh, this is also super easy here we have the handbrake i always lock my trailer on once it is attached and yeah, I don't really know what else there is to show about a hitch, do you? No. Super easy, quite short coupling. Coupling? Is that the word? Short There's bit. not much, is there, between no. the vehicle and the trailer, which I think allows for it to be a lot easier to turn. I find it quite easy to turn in comparison to some. Um, I'm not really sure of the scientific equation there, but I definitely find it easy to pull in here and reverse back to here. I'm pretty sure we, between us, darling, have covered everything. However, if you do have any questions on the Equitrek Night Trekker or any of the models, then do feel free to contact me direct or comment below and I will do my very best to help you. And if I cannot help, I will put you in touch with the correct person at Equitrek themselves. Now the question you're probably all waiting for is where am I going? I will show you, hopefully, <laughs> add it on to the end of this vlog. It's currently, what day is it? Saturday. I'm traveling on Monday and I might be able to spin around and be like Banksy's not in this stable so Banksy is in <gasps> what stable are you in Banks does anybody recognize this barn or this gray bottom <laughs> permission granted to exit to the field mummy or this face even look where are we I feel like I need to pack so many clothes. I'm so excited about sharing all your ponies, but they've, they've gone out. Yeah, and also the barn's a tip. Oh, okay, we oh, won't no, show the barn. We'll go straight outside. outside. We'll show you the ponies out here, look. There's Jam heading off to the field. And we're here for the first leg of an action-packed... Four days? What have you got down your Five top? days. Oh, your phone's in your bra. Phone. You've got a funny shape, so booby! Damn! We all know the best pocket that we, we've got. <laughs> 
fab way to end the vlog. Um, fabulous, action-packed four days of fun with the three of us that so soon become four. But obviously that will be in a different vlog, guys. So as always, if you enjoyed this one, like, comment, subscribe if you do not already, as if they were told to say that, wasn't that was it? That so cool. God, we're cool. We put a lot of effort into that. Yeah. <laughs> We've got four days of a lot of talking to do. I know. You're going to go husky. I think it's best we rest our voices for now. But yeah, if you have enjoyed, and Comments also if you do want any more information on the trailer, Equitrex, or the lorries, we might be able to give you a bit of inside info on yeah. some uh, larger Thanks vehicles for. over the next Thanks few days for. too. Yeah. But yeah, ensure you subscribe now. to stay. Yes, we have more than yeah. lots, lots, lots. You're going to enjoy it, guys. So stay tuned, and obviously we will uh, update you. She loves how I just carry on talking forever. That's what you were going to say, isn't it? Have you noticed? That the camera turns off now if you've been talking for five minutes. No, it does not. No, because I've never got to that point. We're <laughs> <laughs> blabbing in the car, and of course it goes off. Wait, for five no. Minutes. Anyway, I've been five minutes. Nah, yeah, I think that's the setting because right. I've done. I well, Meg's going to teach me how to use the camera so that it doesn't turn off after five minutes. I think I did also that my thing for like twenty minutes. Lens needs cleaning. Oh, anyway, stay tuned because there's lots of action-packed fun to view. <laughs> so much fun, but we're not allowed to do it because Tina's talking! Hi! <laughs>